Have you ever noticed these camps just off Bouquet Canyon Road? They've been open on and off for decades, but now they're at the center of a bold and controversial initiative. Camps Scudder and Scott are set to house youth convicted of serious crimes like murder, arson, and robbery. Locals are upset over the plan. We do not want to live next door to violent criminals, gang members, murderers, arsonists, rapists, pedophiles, burglars, robbers, etc. Uh, they filled Santa Clarita City Hall's council chambers to sound off. I'm not saying that the criminal justice system is perfect. It needs to be reformulated, but that is a discussion for another time and another day. That is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about putting juvenile offenders, and the most serious of which, in our backyard without having an opportunity to talk about how this is going to affect our quality of lives. Governor Gavin Newsom signed off on the plan last year. I cannot be more pleased to be here and with the privilege of being able to sign this important bill. It calls for shutting down California's juvenile justice system and handing it off to local counties. A Los Angeles County subcommittee worked to recommend the two camps, both within a few hundred feet of homes. I just can't understand that somebody would think putting a prison in a residential area is okay. I've got some dear friends that live within a few blocks of this. To me, this is crazy. Councilmember Smythe. Here. Santa Clarita officials say they were never contacted about the plan to house the juveniles in the city. They're worried that many more residents are unaware. Here is yet one more instance of the state abdicating its responsibility and putting it on to local communities without any thought, without talking to us, without any discussion whatsoever. For those who live across the street from the location, the news was shocking. Devastating to hear that hardened criminals would serve long term in a community that I adore across the street from where I live where my children play, my future grandchildren will be playing. Um, in 40 years. But several people defended the plan during Tuesday's city council meeting. I'm here today to respectfully stand in solidarity with all my little brothers and sisters who have been called monsters, super predators, and dangerous, and have been looked upon, have, and have been looked upon as the worst. We need to change that narrative. Keeping young people in L.A. County reduces the influence of prison culture and recidivism, which contributes to reducing cycles of violence. Nonprofit organizers say jailed youth are in need of rehabilitation and, moreover, a second chance. I spent a quarter of a century in prison. As a teenager, I was shot, stabbed, and beat up. That was when I was first victimized. No one talks about how we become broken. And so I won't go deeply into my story, but what I will say is this. Many of our youth never had a first chance literally come out of communities that are under-resourced, schools that are horrible, and abusive household, households. And then they make horrible choices, and then what do we do as a society? We throw them away. We don't want them around us. We don't want to imagine a justice system that actually makes them whole, that actually cares for them let them know, and lets them know that they can win too. But some say the move is nothing more than window dressing. They want to see a plan that addresses the mental health needs of the inmates. Just moving juveniles and criminals to a new place isn't changing them. What structures are going to be in place? What counseling? What schooling? You're talking about a 12-year-old. Are they going to be in the same school system? You know, here, are they having special schooling? What counseling's going on? What job training's going on? So we don't have enough information about this. And I think if the rest of Santa Clarita even knew of this, this place would, be, would have a line around the block. Whether the county will go through with placing inmates in Saugus? Well, that's all up in the air. But for now, the city plans to send a letter to the county subcommittee addressing their concerns and hope for collaboration. To the gentleman who, who mentioned being considered monsters, I think, again, I can speak for a lot of counsel. I don't look at any of you and see that. Do we all make mistakes? Absolutely, we do. Do we try to find solutions through faith, through family, through community, and now through programs that are meant to do more than just lock us up? Absolutely, we do. Reporting from Santa Clarita City Hall, I'm Austin Dave.